Hello viewers, it's me again. So let's continue with magnetic motors. On my left side you can see one very good interesting design and this is the inventor called Te Feng Tsai, obviously a Chinese guy. So why wouldn't they imagine like Wang Shung Ho, some great and amazing patterns. So as you can see it's really really interesting. So uh, in front of my face now I scroll the patent itself. So you can see, so I had some, I needed some time to reconstruct this patent. It's interesting, but uh, you will see later on, on animation how it actually uh, works and operates. Tefeng Tsai magnetic motor, it has stator and it has rotor like any other motor uh, in the end. Yeah? But as you can see from first sight, now I will start the animation in front of my face. You can see that there is a lot of more magnets on the rotor than on the stator. And what would that mean? So, it's strange design, but yet I think that uh, much more, so different number of magnets on the rotor and on the stator could help for this not to stop somewhere in the middle. So it's actually a good design. So let's easily go to the big screen on the left to see and try to explain what's going on there. So as you can see, this is it basically. It looks really, really nice. The design is very pure. It's very simple in the end, which I like the most in magnetic motors because, you know, when it's so complicated, like even mama real this magnetic motor, uh, you get crazy even to just imagine how this could work. For this, it's pretty obvious, I would say. Yeah, so the much more magnets on the stator uh, rotor in the middle would repel itself from the magnets on the stator. And this would be some kind of support construction and uh, so this should in the end spin indefinitely yeah, by, the, by the fact that this is a magnetic motor. But it's too good to be true I would say because you know uh, it's anybody, could, anybody could think this should stop, this must stop because of the, I don't know, um, because uh, in such simple designs the system always stops. But what could be the case? For example, if the rotor, if the rotor and the stator are, are from the uh, shielding, magnetic shielding material, this would of course help. So uh, in the description below you can see the link of the patent, so you can read it. So, Thus, he uses uh, magnetic shielding materials in the rotor and stator construction. I would say it does, because there are much more, and you will see in my future videos, there are many simple designs which incorporate magnetic shielding material. And really, I think that this could help uh, to uh, overcome the opposing magnetic field, at least in some measure, which hopefully would be enough to overcome this uh, opposing force to stop the system. So in the end, there's not much to say about this Tefeng Tsai magnetic motor. And yeah, we will see what's the case with other designs. So what can I conclude in the end about Tefeng Tsai magnetic motor or magnetic motor propulsion system or however it's called, you can read the patent. Yeah, uh, we cannot really know because this simple construction can be can fool us easily. I don't think it, it can work really, but I'm open-minded, yeah, so you never know. Unfortunately, I don't have enough money or time because I have a regular uh, eight-hour job every day as a security manager. But if I had time and resources, I would definitely try to explore many of these patents. And I know that many of you are, are hating me because I'm showing only the drawings. But in the end, nobody else does. So I'm making a point here. So if, if maybe someone wants to support my work additionally, to, or if, if you want to, for me to, to actually construct some of these motors, I would need funding and this is obvious because uh, especially when we are dealing with the magnetic mo motors which incorporate uh, 
magnetic shielding material this is really difficult because we cannot find except this special magnetic shielding foils like moon metal the crude material cannot be uh, it's not easily to get uh, from the even on eBay or anywhere else but uh, uh, the, the problem is that I don't have the CNC machines and and if I have the, if I bring this model to to any uh, any kind of uh, uh, shop which can mill out out of the uh, maybe chrome or aluminium this kind of uh, components for these magnetic motors this costs a fo this costs a fortune for no for you who don't know you can ask so you would know that this is basically making of a patent yeah, from the scratch yeah, so they they need to make only custom-made uh, item for you and this is pretty pretty expensive you can bet on it so not to take any of more of your time so in the next video i don't know what else will what will be but just keep waiting and something will come so thank you for watching bye bye